Yeah, yeah. Just a test, guys. Mayday, mayday. He needs microphone. Hello, hello. There we go. That's better. Uh, Abu, uh, decision victory tonight. Uh, but first of all, how, how was that walkout? I guess the arena, there was some incredible sport there for you tonight. Yeah, uh, I was very excited and was very happy. A lot of big support today in the arena from Germany and from the whole world, from Morocco and from Germany. You know, I born in Germany, I race in Germany. You know, a lot of people love me and a lot of people even hate me. You know, some people come to see my win, some people come to see my loss, but I'm happy for everybody who was today here. It is a big step for Germany that today is Sunday. The holidays start today. It's very hot and nice weather today and we have a full arena like a football uh, play game, you know. I was very proud that the big step for Germany and you know, that's not only for me, you know, for everybody who start with MMA or fighting, you know, in Germany and everywhere. And this is very nice to see how the way is created a long and uh, long time and very heavy time for everybody who fighting from Germany and for everywhere, uh, from everywhere. And yeah, today we get a big step for the next future. I hope that Germany give us a big support, not only for me, for everybody, for the press, for the MMA, for the TV, for the fighters, and open a lot of doors for the sponsoring, for the TV, to work with MMA and UFC, and that can help a lot of people to bring them from the street to the big sport and to change a big life, you know, because now it's a heavy, heavy time. The young kids playing with phones, People lost the respect to a lot of things. And when we give them a big message to do the sport, and from 10 people, maybe one of the, nine, of the 10 may be a fighter, this is a nice, uh, a nice result at the end. And yeah. You said there that there are some people that love you and there are some people that hate you. What, why are people so dis uh, divisive, I guess, in their opinion of you? You know, <laughs> I mean, in every, in every business in the world, you know, I think you know that also in the press business on everywhere, some jealous people, some haters, you know, some people say, hey, don't, he didn't deserve it and he's not ready to fight in the UFC and this league is big or ah, his, uh, his teeth is white and his jacket is too nice. Uh, you know how people, but this kind of people give me so much power, you know. I will never be today where I am when I didn't work hard and get this pressure and make this pressure to my motivation, you know. We need Benzin to come forward and that what I have to say these people, thank you for everything and thank you for every support, bad or nice. When people go home and thinks about me, it's very nice, you know. What? What do you want people to be thinking of you after tonight then? Like that performance, that 15 minutes that you showed in there tonight, can, can you do better than that or is there more to come? Uh, a lot of people know that I didn't fight like now two years. And in these two years, I keep working on a lot of things. I, nobody knows what's going to happen tomorrow. And, you know, we get older and our power guns and the money goes, and you never know what become tomorrow. And we have to work for the future. And I have to make my family proud, my parents, my husband, everybody from like my sisters. And this is the way how I think, you know. You, know, you never know sometimes, like I have it before, you know, I spar with my young brother Otman and I broke my hand. Then I stay home like one year, I didn't fight, you know, from where the money. When you don't get a nice business for the future, and this is what takes a lot of times. And even some people put uh, stones in your way, you know. But I go forward to, my, to get my decision to become to this day where I am today. And that's what I want to say. I didn't fight two years, and 
maybe I lost a little from the distance, you know, in the fight, but I'm very happy to get hard fight, 15 minutes. And a lot of fighters, you know, this question nobody can answer me, even my coaches, even my brothers. When you get hurt in the fight, when someone punch your heart in the fight, or you get in the submission, do you give up or not? This kind of question only me as fighter I have to, to, to know how I react, you know. He catch me hard. You know, sometimes I say white lights, you know, I didn't give up and I give, give pressure. And I'm very proud to know that I am really a fighter, you know. I am not an athlete, you know. I get my appointment, I get my opponent, I train hard for this with my team. And I go there and I fight and do my job. And thanks God, I went today. You mentioned there about being away for two years. How did you feel then inside the octagon, um, having that time away? And also, you used to fight at uh, welterweight, and this was obviously fighting here at middleweight. So how did how did that feel as well? The difference in the uh, in the weight. You know, I never complain, and uh, yeah, it's feel different. You know, I'm I don't I don't want to lie. You know, I feel like I when I get in this rhythm of the fighting. And the octagon, it's going to be a little easier. And today, you know, you see it's a very amazing organization and very strict, and I like it, you know. And they test us before the fight and check the weight before we go to the octagon. I think I get only three kilo, three and a half, three plus eight kilo more, you know. I know I fight in welterweight, but I didn't complain, you know. I know I punch hard. I'm very explosive, and I did my job. He was very heavy, I feel it. Even when someone six kilo more than you or seven, I feel it, and in the wrestling, you know, I want to defend two times his uh, takedowns, but one time I catch it, and I was feeling the pressure of his body, but I make him so tired, and I defend good in the ground, and yeah, it is a, a little a bit different. So what's next for you going forward? Will you stay at middleweight? I don't know. Maybe my manager who knows, you know. You never know what's happened tomorrow, but I'm ready for everything. And, uh, you know, UFC knows what is better for you because you see the UFC create his fighters slowly and big, big, big. And this is what we, I find it very, very nice, you know. UFC can make you from today of tomorrow a big star. And we walk in this way. And this is a big dream for every fighter in the world who fight in this organization. And you never know what UFC get plans for you. And I'm, I'm ready for everything. Mark Beckman for Men's Fitness and GNP1DE. Abu, first of all, congratulations to, for a big win. It Thank has you. been a long time in the making, as you know. Uh, you just said you haven't fought for two years. You came in here, went out there, guns blazing, swinging, pushing the pace, and very, very aggressive. I mean, much different from the last fights that we've seen you in, where you were a bit more hesitant. Was it the plan for you to, to come here and show them, now that I'm finally here, I will destroy everything, I will, I will show that I earn my place here, or uh, did you have a bonus in the back of your head, maybe? Uh, you know... <laughs> Bonus is always nice, you know, I have to share with my coach, with my brother and my father. They can make holiday in Morocco. <laughs> but yeah, I keep pressure, you know me, I, I like to, you know, the big de defense is to attack. You know, I know I have good condition. I trained very hard with my team, my uh, coach, Kamal Shabrani, have always uh, good, uh, good tactic, you know, how we make like, five, six round sparring with different persons and very strong guys. And I was knowing, you know, this guy never go down uh, in his career, never get knocked down. And I give pressure when he goes down, he go down, but not we fight 15 minutes. And I defend a lot of submission for him. He was very, very strong. But uh, yeah, I like to keep pressure, you know, because the world loves to keep the fights in the stand-up and to see the action, you know, because that's a really fight, you know. Two guys come up and tak, 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 and one go down or not. But the ground game is also nice, it's fighting, but I think when the fighters fight in stand-up, it's more nicer. Hello. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, excuse me, it's interesting that you mentioned the ground game because we have very rarely seen you on your back during your career. You were mostly 
fighting standing up, so it was a big question mark what you can do from your back. You look very comfortable in that fight. Is there any anything that you see uh, that you need to improve going forward now that you tasted how it feels like fighting in the Champions League? Also ist da irgendwas, wo du sagst, dass du vielleicht noch dran arbeiten musst? Du hast gerade gesagt, du hast auch mal ein Ding gekriegt, hast mal ein weise Lichter gesehen. Du hast natürlich dominanten Kampf gemacht, aber glaubst du, dass du, glaubst du, dass du noch was machen musst oder hast du dich am Boden wohlgefühlt? Also du sagst, relativ, relativ zufrieden da unten aus, sage ich jetzt mal. Also, um, first, I say auf Englisch, because I think a lot of people understand it better. Oh, even my English is a little broken, but, you know. It's, it's almost English. better than your German. <laughs> straight English. Uh, um, yeah. Um, no, I don't have to change anything, you know, because when you change something, then you make something wrong. When I, you know, I, I became today here where I am, thanks God, and with, with my experience and with my skills. And I feel very comfortable down, and I heard him all the time breathing very, very heavy. Even he was in the top position, and he was very, very breathing. <sighs> That's why I don't get in panic. I let him sometimes he catch me in the, in the submissions because he's a very tall and very heavy, but no problem. I defend it very nice, and I don't have to change anything. I train with strong people like a good wrestler of the world, like Merbek Taisumov and a lot of Chechenian fighters and with Khabib and with uh, Kumier and Velasquez. I meet these guys, I trainings with them, I was in the training camp with them and uh, it was the same level, you know? And that's why I don't have to change anything, you know? We work hard and everywhere, down and up, and when the fight comes, comes, you know? And that's why. Abu, you mentioned uh, that you trained with your brother, also MMA fighter. He's 9-0 and right now. What would you think of you two fighting on the same UFC fight card someday? Yeah, I think soon. He will fight now soon in Morocco, and he make a nice fight. You know, my brother is a very good, uh, tough fighter. I know he can punch hard, and he's a very aggressive fighter. We are a fighter family, you know, we born, my father is the big sportman in the family and he teach us to be respectful to everybody and uh, even to make sport and to be a nice part, you know, everybody makes some mistakes in the life, but I give big thanks to my father who always keep us in this kind of uh, business uh, forward and uh, yeah. And yeah, I think UFC knows what better, you know, because UFC have the eyes everywhere. I think after this fight, maybe he get the chance to fight there and to represent the Azaita family too in Morocco there. How tight was the armbar? I was very tired, very good. And everybody who understands something from the ground game, he saw what was looking to this. And I defended very nice because I catch his head and he took my legs up and again. And uh, I tried to get his arm open and the referee was saying to me, don't touch his hand. I didn't understand it. You know, it was something new. And okay, then I say, okay, I have to close my legs to get, uh, to get like a triangle. And I was listening to my brother, and he said to, to me like this. And I was very tight, but I was ready that he catch my arm better to tap, you know. I'm not the guy who give up. Better to stay like hard, you know. Pain is pain, but you will never know after to get over your limit what can happen, you know. When I give earlier, you know, maybe a big mistake. And... We always teaching uh, the the coach teaching us in the gym to be character, you know, and never give up and never complain, and yeah, was so tired, tight, yeah. You almost did an inverted triangle. That was fun. Yeah. I never expected that. You know, never saw this from you before. Some submission attempts like this, you know. Yeah, you have to have a plan B. You never have to show the people your skills. Tell the people, be like, uh, oh, excited, or say, oh, shit. Oh, sorry. And he can't, <laughs> he can do it. And that was very nice to know for myself that I never give up. You know, he hurt me one time, he catched me one time with knee, and I give forward, and he catched me one time with uh, uh, amba and uh, uh, side, uh, side shock. 
and I defend it very hard. Even it was so tight, but I sweep him and I keep fighting. And yeah, this is for nice training because I think the training in Holland is most heaviest, you know, because my cousin Nordin Ben Salam, he always kept so much pressure on my coach. Uh, Kamal Shabrani, he always kicked my ass in the training, and Roberto Barrero, and my brothers. That's why I cannot give up in this fight, because I know the training was most heavier and harder than this. And I know better I go to cabin, I fell down, and I keep sleeping. <laughs> better to give up in the fight, and after this I go home, and they say, ah, oh, why I did it, why not? That's why it's better like this. And I think I make so many people today happy, and thank you very much. Okay, one more question. Where is my check? I get a bonus, thank you. <laughs> no, thanks, what joke, guys. Thank you on UFC, thank you Morocco, thank you very much.